Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning into Spaceonomics, Frost and Sullivan's exciting podcast series highlighting key disruptive technologies, innovative business models, promising growth opportunities and other intriguing developments in the space industry. This is Prachi, research analyst from Aerospace Defense and Security team at Frost and Sullivan. In today's episode of Spaceonomics, we are going to cover the topic around the recent announcement by SpaceX about their 24 scheduled Starlink launches in 2020. Let's take a step back to look at the interesting trail of announcements by SpaceX, starting from addressing of small satellite market and then the revision of cost per launch to about $5,000 per kg for a small satellite weighing 200 kgs and then a minimum of three dedicated rideshare missions per year. And now we have an announcement of their target for 24 launches in 2020 for the Starlink constellation. We need to note that these are in addition to customer missions. By the end of 2019, they have planned another four Starlink satellite launches. The highest number of launches the company can reach for this year totals up to 18. This includes 10 launches that are already done, that is 8 Falcon 9 launches and 2 Falcon Heavy launches. If these numbers are achieved by Starlink, we can expect 1600 satellites planned for 550 km orbits to be launched by 2020. This increases the possibility of Starlink constellation starting its first phase of operations by the end of 2020. However, looking at their previous records of maximum of 18 launches per year, we can infer that SpaceX is planning to double their number of launches if we are to consider the customer launches as well. This is indicative that the production rate for the rockets is increased by them in addition to their reusable rockets each year. What does this mean to the small satellite operators? SpaceX has already agreed that they are willing to launch other small satellites based on the availability of additional payload capacity during these Starlink missions. This eventually increases the opportunity for small satellite operators to procure a launch slot. It also increases the competition for dedicated launch services companies who are targeting the small satellites market. It is indicative that SpaceX's interest to target their early entry into the market will have an advantage over their competitors. We at Frost & Sullivan are constantly observing the small satellite markets and debating over the entry of these constellations and their success. Stay tuned to Spaceonomics for further interesting discussions. On that note, I hope you have enjoyed this session. For any queries related to our research and analysis or growth partnership services, reach us at digital at frost.com. Thank you for your time.